Hi. Now we've got another question here to differentiate. Differentiate with respect to x, 1 minus 10x all over 2x minus 1 to the power 5. And we've got to give the answer in its simplest form. So how would we do something like this? Well, you might like to pause the video if you feel up to it, have a go. And you can always come back in a moment and just check your working with mine. Well, first of all, I want to define this. I want to say let y equal this. All right. If you're going to do dy dx, then you need to say something like this. So we've got 1 minus 10x all divided by 2x minus 1 to the power 5. Now this is a typical example where we have two functions of x being divided by one another. In other words, suppose those functions of x were say u and v. Then it can be shown that dy by dx is always equal to the bottom function v multiplied by the differential of the top of the fraction du dx then minus, we do it the other way around now, we do u times dv by dx, okay, all divided by the denominator squared, v squared. And this is a rule that I would encourage you to try and learn, although you will generally find it in most formula booklets if you're taking an exam on this. Okay, but do try and learn, it's not that difficult. I'm often asked, by the way, why can't we bring the 2x minus 1 to the power 5 up to the top, write it as 1 minus 10x multiplied by 2x minus 1 to the power minus 5, and then use the product rule. Well, you could, but it's a lot longer. Try it. If you're in doubt, try it, and then see if you can achieve the final result that we get doing it by the quotient rule. Okay, so moving on then, we can say that therefore dy by dx is equal to. Well, according to the quotient rule then, we start off with the bottom of the fraction and then we multiply it by the differential of the top of the fraction. So the bottom of the fraction then is 2x minus 1 to the power 5. And now we need to multiply this by the differential of the top of the fraction. And if we differentiate 1 minus 10x with respect to x, it's just going to be minus 10. Okay, so that's that part. Now we have minus, and we now do the top of the fraction multiplied by the differential of the bottom of the fraction. So the top of the fraction is 1 minus 10x. And we now need to multiply it by the differential of the bottom of the fraction, differential of 2x minus 1 to the power 5. Now we do this by the chain rule. And what we would get would be 5 multiplied by 2x minus 1 to the power 4. 2x minus 1 then to the power 4. And then we multiply it by the differential of 2x minus 1, which is just going to be 2. Now if you got a bit lost on that bit there, the chain rule for differentiating 2x minus 1 to the power 5, I will go through this at the end of the video. But I'll take it for the moment that you're happy with that part. Okay, then it is all divided by the bottom of the fraction squared. So we've got 2x minus 1 to the power 5 and I've got to square that. So that's going to give me 2x minus 1 to the power 10, okay? Right, now, when you do the quotient rule, you'll always have a term here and a term here. These two terms like this, okay? And what I'd always suggest you do is clean those two terms up, first of all. So for this first term, it would look better as minus 10, first of all, multiplied by then the 2x minus 1 to the power 5. And then for this second term here, I'm going to do 5 times the 2, which is 10. So we've got the minus here, so that's minus 10. And then I'm going to write 2x minus 1 to the power 4. 
and then we have got the 1 minus 10x okay obviously it didn't matter really which way round I did those two factors there but I felt that would be the nicest way okay and then this is all divided by and make sure that your division sign here extends beyond this minus here okay that's very important otherwise it will carry a totally different meaning and uh, we divide this all by 2x minus 1 then to the power 10 now that we've cleaned up both the terms on the top here it's usual then to check out to see whether you've got any common factors and indeed we have we've got minus 10 and 2x minus 1 to the power 4 okay so then we put a square bracket here and what would go in here well for this first term we need to multiply through by another 2x minus 1 and to get the next term we've already got minus 10 2x minus 1 to the power 4 out the front so I need to put a plus there be careful on the plus okay and then we're just left with the 1 minus 10x and then we can close the square bracket and that's all divided then by 2x minus 1 to the power 10 now I can see that I could cancel both top and bottom now by this common factor 2x minus 1 to the power 4 because I've got one term now on the top so I can cancel that out and that will go into 2x minus 1 to the power 10 okay to, it will reduce it down to the power 6 just by subtracting those powers now we can clean up what we have inside the square bracket there so at the moment then what we've got is this minus 10 and that minus 10 is multiplied by and I notice that minus 1 plus 1 that's going to give us 0 so that's gone and then we've got 2x here plus minus 10x 2x minus 10x in other words which is minus 8x and that is divided all by 2x minus 1 to the power 6 so we just need to clean this up a bit further so what does that give us then well it tells us that dy by dx if we were to differentiate this gives us minus 10 times minus 8x that's plus 80x and that will be all over 2x minus 1 to the power 6 2x minus 1 then to the power 6 and there's your answer in its simplified form okay now I did say that I would show you how I went about differentiating 2x minus 1 to the power 5 and how I got this part here okay so if you're not sure of that what I did was something called the chain rule and as usual just a quick reminder about the chain rule if you're trying to find dy by dx it's exactly the same as dy over d something multiplied by the same d something over dx and that d something that I use is going to be dt it's as if those two cancel out okay those two dt's leaving you with dy by dx so in the case where I've got to differentiate 2x minus 1 to the power 5 let's just say we have that y is equal to that 2x minus 1 to the power 5 then I'm going to let t equal the 2x minus 1 put 2x minus 1 there to squeeze that in there okay so we have got that therefore y equals t to the power 5 so when it comes to working out dy by dx we'll put therefore dy by dx equals I've got to do dy by dt first of all so y equals t to the power 5 as you can see here okay so differentiating that with respect to t gives me 5t to the power 4 5t to the power 4 but 
t was 2x minus 1. So it's 2x minus 1 for t. Now it's to the power 4. 5t to the power 4. And then I need to multiply it by dt by dx. So I've got that t equals 2x minus 1. So if I differentiate that with respect to x, I just simply get 2. So hopefully that shows you how I got that result, which is clearly going to be 10 times 2x minus 1 to the power 4. But as I say, I didn't need to write that at that stage. OK, well, there you go. There's that uh, question done for you. And I hope that uh, you're able to get it right or at least see where you might have gone wrong.